That's not a ringworm, little kitty, but just a worm. On the other hand, ringworm is a skin infection. Infection? Let me explain. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us explore this common skin infection by answering an itchy question. What causes ringworm? Zoom in. So, what is ringworm? Well, it is a kind of skin infection that, unlike its name, is not caused by any worm but a type of fungus called dermatophytes. These fungi are generally found in moist environments such as pool areas, public showers, wet soil, etc. We can also find them on our pets and other animals like rodents and at times they are already present in our skin, nails or hair. And when someone comes in direct contact with these fungi, they take this opportunity to stick to our skin. And when that happens, they start to eat the keratin found in the dead skin cells. And slowly, we begin to notice a red scaly patch appearing on that region. Then, over time, it may look like one or more rings with raised, tough, scaly edges and a clear center. Thus, due to their ring-like appearance, they are popularly known as ringworm. Not because some worm is involved. But they also go with many names depending on the area they infect. Yes, if they grow in the area of the groin, upper thigh or buttocks, it is called jock itch. If these patches are found on the foot, they go with a solid name called athlete's foot. And when fungus grows anywhere else on the body, it's known as ringworm or as doctors call it, tenia capitis. Whatever the name could be, one thing is sure and that is, they can make our skin flaky and cracky, causing it to itch, burn or feel very uncomfortable. Not only that, but it can also develop into a bump filled with pus called kyrian. And worse, if it grows into your hair, it can make some hair fall out, leaving a bald spot. Also remember that ringworm is a highly contagious infection. It can easily pass from one person to another through skin-to-skin -skin contact or by sharing personal belongings like clothes, hats, combs, etc. Not only that, if someone has ringworm on one part of their body, and they touch the affected area and then touch the other unaffected area, the fungus can spread there too. So it's vital to treat this infection ASAP because it spreads too much. How? Let me share a few tips. In most cases, antifungal creams, sprays or powders may solve a mild infection. But some severe infections may need immediate doctor's attention who can observe your condition and prescribe medicine in the form of pills or syrup. And if required, the doctor may also scrape off a small sample of the infected skin for further examination. But as they say, prevention is better than cure. So, to avoid getting ringworm in the first place, Make sure to keep your skin clean and dry by bathing daily and using clean towels. Try wearing clean and loose clothes. Avoid sharing personal things like combs, hats, clothes, etc. And if you think someone has ringworm, please be nice to them and try to maintain some distance until they recover. Trivia time! Did you know? Most mild cases of ringworm usually clear up in two to four weeks. Yes, but for a most serious condition, treatment might take up to three months. 
Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Now it's rainbow. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>